One day, I attempted to measure the length of the walls in my compound with my measuring tape. It proved to be an arduous task because my measuring tape wasn't long enough. I was, however, determined not to give up. So every time I measured and my measuring tape had reached its maximum length, I would mark the point. I would then start my measurement again from the marked point. Eventually, I did it. And when I went to show my father my calculation, it turned out I was very right. Gunter's chain was discussed in our previous lesson, and it is used in detailed measurements. How does this happen? Whenever the chain ends, an arrow or pin is used to mark the end point. The same way I was marking the end of my measuring anytime it had reached its final length. As such, an arrow or pin is a very useful surveying tool. It is mostly used in chain measurements alongside the Gunter's chain, of course. It is a thin pointed steel wire about 30 cm long with one end carved into a ring. A red cloth is normally attached to it so it can be seen from afar. If you recall our lecture on Gunter's chain, then you are aware of chaining as a means of measurement. The arrow or pin is used during chaining for marking off chain length. It is also used to mark stations. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you in the next one.